hi and welcome to the beginners course on google earth engine so in this tutorial i will try to show you how you can easily use earth engine python api in collaboratory okay so first first of all you need to set up your collab so it will be very easy for this you can open your google drive account so you can simply click to new okay then simply go to the more here you can see the google collaboratory simply click to here a new open op window will be opened you can see here so this is our google collaboratory code editor okay so here you can see this is the untitled if you want you can simply give your project title name so this is our first ge python i gave this name ge python one okay so now you can import your module as well as import your authenticate and initialize so the Art Engine API is initialized installed by default in Colab. So you need to require only importing and authenticating. Okay. So you can easily do it. So you can simply use here the import. Okay. Use here the import. Then simply use here the import the module okay so i import the api of art engine so i use here the import art engine and simply click to here it will be run or you can press in your keyboard control with enter it will be run okay so then you need to use authenticate function to authenticate your access to Art Engine server, okay. So you need to another cell of code. So you can simply click to here. A new cell will be added here, or you can also press the your keyboard Control M B, okay. So then a new cell will be automatically add. Or also you can when your cursor will be here, you can see the code plus plus code. Simply click to here. A new cell will be opened so now you use here the ee the dot authenticate authenticate function this function means your access to art engine server okay so when i run this code you can see a uh, they provide the link you can simply click to here then you can click your with your gmail which gmail you opened your google at engine account then simply click to allow and just you can copy this code and paste in the blank box so i simply paste here and then press enter so now your server will art engine server will be added with the collab code editor okay so now you need to initialize function so initialize you can simply use here take the another code spacing or cell then use here the ee dot initialize use this function okay and simply click to control and enter for running this code so now you can see your collab is ready for your coding of art engine python api so now you can use her any code or python api so suppose in this case i will try to show you how you can easily add a image or srtm image mainly so how you can easily add this so for this you need to add a, a new cell or code spacing so i simply click to here for getting a new image or a spacing cell code okay so now i use here a variable 
I use the dem. This is my variable name, and I will go to my art engineer. Here you can see this is the NASA SRTM digital elevation 30 meter data set. So I simply copy this collection snippet. I copy this collection snippet and paste in here. Okay. So now in this code here you can see I simply use a variable then I simply copy the collection snippet from my image collection okay from my data set this data is the NASA SRTM digital elevation and this you can see check the there is the one band elevation and this resolution is 30 meter okay so now I will use this data in here so then you need to use here the point feature so in python api you can use here the ee geometry dot point then you can put in your specific point latitude or longitude so in this case i want to use a variable x y this is my variable then i use here the ee dot geometry dot point because in this case i want to use here the latitude and longitude so i simply paste here my coordinate so suppose i want to use here the mount everest uh, coordinate or latitude longitude so i simply search in my google mount everest lat long so you can see here the latitude and longitude will be appeared just you can simply copy this and paste here as well as we also copy this another latitude just copy this and paste in my code now this point will be added here okay so now you want to use here this data with your point okay so now I also take here the another variable elevation then you can simply use your python you can see here this is our image variable name so this image variable name is dem so i simply use here the dem okay so then i use here the sample function sample function i defined here my point so here you can see my point variable name is xy so i simply use here the xy then I defined here my image resolution so in this case here I use the image is the NASA SRTM digital elevation 30 meter resolution so I simply use here the 30 meter resolution images and then I also use here the first function because I want to take the first images from here and I also use here the get function because I want to use here the specific band so here you can see in this image there is the only one band this band name is elevation I simply copy this elevation and paste here add and I also use here the get info function for I getting the all of this information about this okay so I use here the get info function okay so now everything is okay so now I want to simply use here the print function and use here this variable elev so when i click run i can get the result of the mount everest elevation okay so if you want you can add some notation here suppose i want to use here this is the mount everest elevation so i use here the mount everest elevation mount everest elevation so then i also want to use here this is the elevation is meter so i use here the meters okay so now when i click run you can get this result very poor you can see this our command line will be opened here output will be mount everest elevation 8729 meters okay so if you want you can check here the elevation will be 8849 meter okay so it almost same here you can see this is our main elevation in here 
as well as we can also calculate this elevation in our Google Colab with the NASA SRTM data set with this specific point and I will and we will get the same result of Mount Everest elevation 8729 meters okay so mainly in this tutorial I will try to show you how you can access your Google Earth engine with your Google collaboratory okay so this is the main code when you use the Google collaboratory you can simply go to your Google Drive then simply click to new then go to the more then open your google collaboratory okay then you can simply uh, open this interface first of all you need to import the earth engine module so you can simply use here the import ee earth engine so then run this code then you need to authentic authenticate with your earth engine access to your google collaboratory so you can when you can uh, enter this run this code you can get the link simply click to get this link you can get uh, you can access with your gmail account which gmail account we will use for your making your google earth engine account okay so then you can simply uh, uh, just you can uh, this code you can simply put this code in here and click to enter so when you click to here you can add your earth engine server with your google collaboratory okay then use here the ee initialize function and then you can do all of this work using the python api okay so mainly in this case i will show you how you can take a variable then under this variable you can take the images of nasa srtm you can just simply copy this collection snippet then i also put here the specific point in this case uh, amount everest then i add this point with this uh, point uh, of this image you can see here dem so then i simply use the print function and i get this result the mount everest elevation okay so so today is no more so next time i will try to show you all of this tutorial how you can easily use the map visualization static images interactive map view and other apps art engine app using the python api so i hope you enjoy this okay so if you want to like this video please like and comment your opinion in my comment box and i also try to make all of this tutorial uh, as soon as possible so and i also uh, start a new course in google earth engine for 10 days course this course uh, a module will be i will add in my description box so you can easily check all of this so if you want you can join this course okay so today is noble thank you for watching this video thank you